Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a favorites video. This is going to be the book favorite book favorites that we had on my book blog Chicklet Plus for the month of March. Um, so if you are not familiar with that, I am also very heavily in the book world. I'm an author, but I'm also a book blogger. I own Chicklet Plus and we do several book reviews over there, author interviews, guest blogs all that good stuff. Um, so I also do have a fantastic review team because I just cannot handle all of the review review requests that come in from authors and publishers and publishing houses. So I have an excellent review team that helps me review all of these books. And in this favorites video, I'm going to go over all of the five star books that myself and the review team gave. I think I have six books to talk about this month. So I'll kind of explain what the reviewer said about the book or what I said about the book and why we think they are fantastic books to read. One thing that I do want to mention really quick because I feel like it's affecting um, my <laughs> demeanor. Um, I'm filming this on Thursday, March 31st. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and the day prior, so Wednesday, March 30th at uh, right about 4 o'clock p.m. my Instagram account has been disabled. So I was March Beauty Word on Instagram. My account is completely gone. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got hacked and something weird happened. I don't, I, I don't know what happened, but it's gone. Like, I was on Instagram and it kicked me off and when I tried to lock back in, it said that my account had been disabled for violating Instagram policies, which I can say with 100% certainty that I've never violated any Instagram policy. I don't even know if I would know how to violate an Instagram policy. Um, I'm pretty straight laced as they come. But I, so I don't know if the account got hacked and something weird was happening. Um, I don't know. And I have tried, <laughs> I've probably sent 12 messages now to Instagram trying to get my account back or just trying to learn what happened. But I mean, everything's gone. It's not like I just can't log in, but my account's still there. Everything is gone. My photos, my videos, everything's gone. So I can tell I'm definitely in a weird mood. Um, you know, obviously it's not the end of the world. I can start a new Instagram, but I've been on Instagram for just about a year. I started it right after I started YouTube and I've been on YouTube. I think my first video went up at the end of April. So it's been almost a year. But I worked really hard on Instagram. I worked hard on the photos that I shared and the videos that I put together and it wasn't ever anything like I would just snap a picture and upload it. Like I was really learning how to edit and all that good stuff. So every photo that you saw on there took a while to create and perfect and get it just right and learn things about hashtags and what times I should post and, and all that. So. For all of that to just get wiped completely away, like that year of work never happened, is very frustrating. It's very frustrating and I think it's just mostly frustrating because I don't know what happened. I don't know how to prevent this. I don't know if it's going to happen again. Um, I'm seeing some people saying that like Instagram is having a, a bad virus going on now and it's affecting a lot of people. Some people I know have gotten their accounts disabled. Some are in like Instagram jail where they can't post new photos or comment on any photos but they still have their account. Some can't log in. It just says like their password is wrong. But they know it's right. Like I don't know. I know that Instagram did some sort of like funky update because now they're changing our feeds and all that stuff but I don't know why that would mean I'd have to get my entire account disabled and get no one to help me. If you guys ever do have any problems with Instagram just so you know they don't have a real help desk. They don't really have anyone that will help you apparently. Um, they don't have a phone number you can contact, they don't have an email you can contact. You can send in like basic forms on their help desk but who knows where that's going to and no one has responded to me in a day so <laughs> thanks. But just so you guys know I had no idea Instagram would do things like that but Apparently they do, but I just wanted to address it, A, because I'm getting so many questions. I'm getting questions on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, here on YouTube. Everyone's like, where's your where's your Instagram? Where's your Instagram? Especially because I have weekly and monthly giveaways all the time over there. Like, everyone's asking where I am. I'm, I'm in limbo right now. I don't know if I should start a new account. I don't know if I should keep waiting. Um, 
If anything has changed by the time this video goes live, I will go ahead and leave that in the description box below so you guys know, but I just, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. It's like I don't know what to do with my hands, like, I'm confused. But sorry this intro is so long and it really has nothing, I mean nothing at all to do with this video, but I just wanted to let you guys know because I definitely tell that my attitude is affected by it. So, well, life goes on, I'll let you guys know what happened, I just wanted to throw it out there not to like complain or be sad or like be dumb or anything like that, but just because I know that it's affecting my whole like demeanor. I'm not quite myself today and that's why. Okay? Anyways. How about we just jump into the video, let's talk about good things, let's talk about favorites, let's talk about books we love. If you'd like to see the book favorites from Chiclet Plus for the month of March, please So one good thing that's happened recently is that I bought myself a camera so now I can actually work off my cell phone instead of having a laptop in my lap when I do these kinds of videos. So that's nice. But the first book that got five stars is Sisters of Heart and Snow by Margaret Dilloway. And I will insert the covers here like I normally do for all the book photos. But Leah is the one that reviewed this one. And from Amazon it says, The award-winning author of How to Be an American Housewife returns with a poignant story of estranged sisters forced together by family tragedy who soon learn that sisterhood knows no limits. And let's see, Leah's review said, I found this almost impossible to put down. If I didn't have to work the day I was reading, I would have sat in the same position, never moving, except to flip the page until I had completed the novel. Even when I wasn't reading the book, its plot remained in my mind, and it was so compelling, I couldn't turn away from it. I mean, if that's not, like, what you call a raving review, I don't know what is. So that is Sisters of Heart and Snow by Margaret Dilloway. The next one we have is Natalie's Getting Married, and this is by Rosa Temple, and Christy is the one who reviewed this one. From Amazon, it says, career-minded, Natalie Spencer had never been in love. She could never understand what all the fuss was about, but when she met Jackson Humphreys during Freshers Week at university, that all changed. Uh, this is a tale about four wedding dresses, a runaway groom, and a girl who got so carried away she couldn't see true love staring her right in the face. And from Christie's review, she said this was a great read by Rosa Temple, fast-paced and full of surprises. Natalie's Getting Married was a true enjoyment to read. The next one we have is a five-star review from me, and this is Live For This, and it's by Katherine R. Beal. I've read several of Katherine's books. I've highly enjoyed them. Definitely an author I would suggest checking out. Uh, for all these books that I do mention, I will leave the Amazon links in the description box below, as well as the links to the review on Chiclet Plus, so you can read the full reviews there as well um but live for this we follow samara and i hope i'm saying that right i'm really not positive i know when i hauled this one i was like samara i think i'm saying it right um from amazon it says she's living the party girl life i really don't i don't need to read from amazon because i read this one but uh, live for this was it's a women's fiction novel and it really covers a lot of serious subjects and I have just really been enjoying these books lately. Ones that are just a little more hard hitting and ones that, you know, almost have like uncomfortable topics to talk about and almost like read about because they're so serious or, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you guys understand what I'm saying here? But I really, really love to live for this. We, we follow Samra who, like I said, she's a party girl. She is sleeping with a married man who she thinks that, you know, she thinks that they're in love and she thinks that he's going to leave his wife and she actually gets in a really, really bad situation, um, basically is, is raped by two men, one including her friend slash roommate's boyfriend at the time and one being the married man she was seeing and there's a videotape of it and everything and it gets it gets very serious it like you know kind of hurts my stomach to read about but it's not a sad book um i wasn't disturbed by the book really i mean honestly like yes you're reading more disturbing things but it wasn't like oh my gosh i can't read this because it is so well written it's very realistic um it's so it's it's like a fast paced book, but not that I thought anything was rushed or too quick. But every like every time you would get to an end of a chapter, I was like, ooh, I should probably keep reading just to like just to keep it going. Like I just I want to keep reading this book. Basically, Samra is kind of like saved by a man named Michael. Um, he's in a wheelchair. He doesn't have any feelings from like his chest down, I believe it was, and. He's going through his own situation himself. He was hit by a car and that's when he 
has his disability, then he was left by his fiance, and she's actually now getting married to his best friend who also like just could not handle who he was after the accident. And so it's kind of like these two like kind of lost people and feeling unloved people kind of find their way together. And I was really concerned when I first read the synopsis because I was like, am I going to cry like the whole book? Am I going to be sad? Am I going to be yada, yada, yada? I wasn't. It's just so well written. It's such a good story. Like it, it's such a strong plot and such strong characters that it was pretty much impossible to put down. It's one that I keep raving about. Obviously, I feel like I could keep talking about it here um, in this video, but I know I should cut myself off. But just definitely one that I say to check out. Live for this by Katherine Arbeel. So the next one that we have is Sparing the Heart, and this is by Tracy Krimmer. This is another one that I gave five stars to. This is another author that I highly recommend, Tracy Krimmer. I've read several of her books. I've enjoyed all of them. I think I've given all of her book a big old five-star review. Love, love, love her books. Sparing the Heart, actually to me, I read these two back-to-back, -back, Live for This and Sparing the Heart, and not that they seemed similar in like characters or even really plot but they were similar in like the dynamic of the book is that it's women's fiction but we're getting into serious subjects live for this definitely covers a lot more seriousness um, but sparing the heart definitely does have it too especially the backstory with kate's dad which i thought was very intriguing like every time we would get little bits of what happened to her father in the past i was like wait a second what like can we keep going can we keep learning about that because what exactly happened um but basically kate moves to a new town she is a realtor she moves to a new town after her father's death her and her father were very close and after he was killed um, she just knew that she needed a fresh start so she moves to a new town and she kind of makes friends by joining a bowling league and i i thought that was kind of fun uh, because my mom used to be a big bowler and now my husband is on a bowling league and while i am not a bowler myself it was kind of fun to read and like pick up the little like bowling terms and things like that i don't know i felt that was cool like i felt like i had something to talk to my mom and boyfriend about like or boyfriend my boyfriend about my husband about um so that was kind of fun like just something a little a little fun for me uh, but also there gets to be a romance involved and the romance to me I thought was so interesting because Kate wasn't always making like good ethical decisions to me because her love interest is actually engaged to someone else and there's like wedding planning going on and so some of the times I was like girl you might be towing the line over here but what I thought is interesting about that is that it does make it realistic we don't want to read about perfect characters in every single book and sometimes i get annoyed with i'm actually reading i'm listening to a book right now where it's like the character is just perfect she's perfect she's perfect she's perfect no one else is perfect but she's perfect and it's like oh come on that's not realistic at all people so we definitely want our characters to have some flaws and not that I disliked Kate at all because I really did and clearly she could see that there was something, you know, something kind of funky in this relationship. But I thought that was interesting. I thought that was a good twist to it. It definitely made her more relatable in my opinion. Overall, it was just such a well-written book. It moved at a great pace. Uh, I really enjoyed the characters and towards the end, it was like right when I thought like, the end was figured out and we knew where we were going and everything was going to end like there's like a little twist thrown in there and I was like whoa I did not see that coming which I thought was really really cool so Tracy Kramer another author to check out and this book is the experience. next one I have is also a five star review from me this is Beneath the Surface and it is by Heidi Perks I'll read a little bit of the synopsis from Amazon it says I don't know where you are I don't know what I've done Teenager Abigail Ryder is devastated when she gets home from school to find her family gone. Nothing makes sense. Things are missing from the house and her stepsisters' rooms are completely empty. But the police think she's in trouble. And when grandmother Eleanor tells her to forget them all, but the police think she's trouble. Not she's in trouble. She's trouble. And when grandmother Eleanor tells her to forget them and move on, there's no choice other than to face the future alone. So when I first read the synopsis, I was actually kind of confused because I was like, who leaves a teenager alone and the police aren't doing anything about it? And the grandmother's like, no, it's cool. I was like, what kind of book am I reading? But Abby is 17 in the book, which, yes, I understand it's still a teenager, but I was thinking like 13, 14, like I was super confused. Um, so that kind of, the pieces 
fell better into place for me after I read that. But with that out of the way, this book is like psychological like it really messed with my head while reading but in a good way of course in a good way I love the book obviously I gave it five stars but as as we go on so we have Abby who was left by her family uh, her father had passed away and after her father passed away her mother just really went downhill like like was not able to get over losing her husband. She did end up remarrying and then had twin girls. So we have the grandmother, Eleanor. So we have Abby and then her mom and then the grandmother. And all three of these women are, they have a lot of stories going on. And I truly like, I don't know how to give a good review because there is so much going on in this book and so much that is uncovered. Like I can't really say a lot because then I'm gonna ruin something for you. And this was a book that when I was reading, and especially when something big got revealed, I was just like, <gasps> no way. Like, I, it like flabbergasted me, and I didn't know what to do with my hands again. I was like, I can't believe that just happened. Such a good book. So many twists and turns, things I didn't see coming. It, like I said, it like messed with your head, like, you think you know one thing, and then you, you don't know anything at all. And then even more is getting... Oh man, it is such a good book. This has to go on your must-read list, Beneath the Surface by Heidi Perks. And the last one that we have for March is By You, My Love by Lauren Falkenberry. This actually just went up today as I'm filming it. Uh, but Mary is the one who reviewed this book from Amazon. It says, 30-year-old Enza Parker is at a crossroads to prove to, her over to prove to her overbearing father she can flip a house on her own. She takes on an ambitious project and it puts her in the path of the most alluring man she's ever met. Ooh, okay. Uh, Mary says in her review, from start to finish, By You My Love is packed with dialogue, fire, the romance kind, and actual fire, and secrets, making it easy to pick up and hard to put down. So I really love this cover. I love the title. The synopsis sounds really good. I'm like, why didn't I review this one? Sometimes my review, my review schedule just gets so full. Like even though there's books that I want to review and read so bad, like I know I just can't do it. But I'm so glad that Mary loved it. Her review makes it sound like even more like I'm probably gonna have to pick up this book at some point and get it on my reading list. But that is By You My Love by Lauren Falkenberry. That is everything for this video. Those were all the five star books that Chiclet Plus had in the month of March. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy these little book videos that I put up from time to time as well. Books is such a huge part of my life. Like I mentioned, I'm an author. Uh, in all the book videos that I do, I do leave some of my book information below if any of you guys are ever interested in checking out my books. I do have four published novels out there. A fifth one will hopefully be released this summer. I own a publishing company, Marching Inc. We have several titles out there now. More to come. Two are pretty imminent. And then my own as well is going to get out there at some point. But I love books. I love reading. I love being able to talk about books and talk about reading. So I really enjoy doing these types of videos, especially favorites videos to kind of show the authors that we have on Chiclet Plus a little bit of extra love and get their get the word out there about how good their books are. So definitely check the description box below. All of the books mentioned, the Amazon links and Chiclet Plus links will be down there below. But please do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Uh, hopefully I will have an update on the Instagram issue very soon or I'll just be back in some way, shape or form. Who knows? We'll have to see. Trying not to stress about it. Having dinner with my girlfriends tonight. Hopefully they can cheer me up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you very soon in my next one. And thank you for watching. Bye.